guys, how are you doing? Shay here, only the bounce will be guys as well. So Marcus Ackerman has been appointed the Hollywood Bets Dolphins for the captain for this upcoming season, um, which starts less than a month's time. Today is Monday, the 5th of October. Um, yeah, the season is due to start, of, you know, with all things being well, on, uh, yeah, November the 2nd, it is. So yeah, um, should be... Um, should be quite excited actually for Dolphins. I'm really excited by this appointment. Obviously, he led last year, uh, Marcus Ackerman in uh, Kaizono's absence. Uh, was on was dropped. So Ackerman came in, led the side very well. Had a really good second half of the season. We had a poor uh, first few games, but a really rallied second half of the season um, under Ackerman's leadership. Um, I'm actually very, you know interested to see how he gets on. Obviously, he's you know younger than the guys around him. I mean, look at the the top four. Out of there, you've got uh, Rollison, actually same age as Ackerman. They got Sarah Lovia, who's in thirty one now. Um, then you've got um, Keegan Peterson, about at three, I'm sure. He's twenty seven years old, uh, so not much older. He's like, three years older than Ackerman. And then you've got like Sir so Pablo um You know he'll be there. Mid Sami will be there. Mid Sami's a couple of years older. Um, the interesting one for me this season, especially now Ackerman's captain, is Kai Zondo. And where it leaves him, um, I've been quite critical of Kaizondo, to be completely honest, of his performances um, for a long time now. He's never consistently performed for the Dolphins. First class, first class average. It might have actually dipped below thirty, to be honest. Um, he was dropped last season. You know, really ballsy move from Imran Khan. Uh, you know, first season's coach, and he goes and does something like that. You know, um, drops a very well established player in Zondo. Um, but it was the right move, and I'm really, really happy that Ackham has been given uh, the captain's armband for this upcoming season. Um, I think Zondo. Um, you know, to me, he's going to bat at potentially five. I mean, Mother Sami's there. You, he can bat at five, but Pequai at six. Um, McCanny's obviously left, which, you know, disappointing in that, but I'll I'll do um, a video on the Dolphins' kind of prospects going into the competition, some for competition, uh, probably just prior to the season starting. Um, so I'll talk more about McCanny uh, leaving there, but, you know, um, with the Sami, um, could probably bat at five. I think he's probably more suited to buy her, her up the order in the four day game um, Sondo will he bat at six is that really the place for him I don't think so really but the, the top four looks completely solid and stable you know earlier Rollison Peterson Ackerman um, as I said for the Sami Sondo 5-6 Pepper Quiet at 7 and then the bowlers um, but you just see how Ackerman leads the season He's, he seems to be quite a, a steely character he knows what he wants um, he was Young when he moved from the Lions to us, you know, he was 22 and he made a movie. You know, that's some, someone who's obviously um, brave, he's courageous. She had to do that, he could have tried to fought, you know, fight his way into the into the franchise ranks with Lions, you know, in Hal Hau Tank, you know. Um, but he decided not to, he decided to, you know, jump a ship to, to KZN, and, and we've been so much better for it. So, yeah, um, interesting to see as well how it affects his game. I mean, he's been accused, obviously, of not being able to convert enough. 50s into hundreds, um, but whether this will you know, maybe help him having that, because I think he might have felt last season I was just standing in for Zondo, but now he's been given the captain on a full time basis. How will this affect his game? Will he really rise to the challenge um, and deliver and deliver, sort of deliver, you know, big hundreds for us? Because we need that, you know, we need that. We need, I, I appreciate the batting looks a lot better than it has done in recent seasons, but we do need Ron to mark him in. Um, despite having you know a wealth of talent in and around him in that top six. So interesting to see how Ackerman goes. Um, and so I just think there might be a knock-on effect to Zondo. Potentially for Zondo, maybe with him losing the captaincy, he might free, his kind of, free himself a little bit mentally and he can come, come in and perform um, without the kind of shackles of captaincy. Um, maybe he just found it too much of a burden on him and he felt like you know, now, he's, now he's definitely not going to be taking the captaincy back any time. Um, like he just plays natural game he can be 31 in, in March you know um, by the fourth season end he'll be 31 it really he's peaking he needs to be delivering you know you know six seven hundred runs in a season eight hundred runs in a season that's what you want to see from a Kaizondo it's only a few years back he got to England you know um, England a South African call up you know he taught India didn't play any games there's some criticism there but um, he's in part of the Proteus setup before you know, he's in part of the Proteus setup so you know he he, he, you know, there's obviously a lot of people have, have, you know, thought highly of him, you know, so 
yeah, I was interested to see, you know, I'm not, this is about Ackerman, but I was very interested to see how it affects Kaizondo because, you know, fit and firing Kaizondo for Dolphins could only be a good thing. Could only be a good thing. So, yeah, I'm sure Ackerman has had some good chats him as well prior to the season starting. And let's see if he can get the best out of Kaizondo as well, you know. So, yeah, we'll see. But anyway, that's it from me, guys. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think on Ackerman's appointments as captain of the Dolphins? A good thing, a bad thing, would you have gone maybe instead with earlier, you know, um, more experienced head? been in around the setup for a longer time would you have gone more left field maybe gone some like uh, I know I'd set up a choir but the problem is the choir is still obviously very much a Proteus player in, in a white ball level um, who else Rolson maybe a bit young Rolson uh, would you have stuck with Zondo maybe you know or just Rolson Peterson as captain um, unlikely but maybe I don't know uh, let me know your thoughts guys below um, if you enjoy the content enjoy the video please yeah like comment subscribe uh, and hopefully I will see you on the next one. Cheers.